A woman enjoyed the practice of baking bread for members of her family. She also made an extra one for a hungry passerby. She kept the extra bread on the windowsill for whosoever would take it away. Every day, a hunchback came and took away the bread. Instead of expressing gratitude, he muttered the following words as he went his way. The evil you do remains with you. The good you do comes back to you. This went on day after day. Every day, the hunchback came, picked up the bread, and uttered the words, The evil you do remains with you. The good you do comes back to you. The woman felt irritated. Not a word of gratitude, she said to herself. Every day, this hunchback utters this jingle. What does it mean? One day, she decided to do away with him. I shall get rid of this hunchback, she said. She added poison to the bread she prepared for him. However, as she was about to place the loaf on the windowsill, her hands trembled. What is this I'm doing, she said to herself. Immediately, she threw the bread into the fire, prepared another one, and placed it on the windowsill. As usual, the hunchback came, picked up the bread, and muttered the words, The evil you do remains with you. The good you do comes back to you. The hunchback proceeded on his way blissfully unaware of the war raging in the mind of the woman. The woman had a son who had gone to a distant place to seek his fortune. For many months she had no news of him and she prayed fervently for his safe return. That evening there was a knock on the door. As she opened it, she was surprised to find her son standing in the doorway. He had grown thin and lean. His garments were tattered and torn. He was hungry, starved and weak. As he saw his mother, he said, Mom, it's a miracle I'm here. While I was but a mile away, I was so famished that I collapsed. I would have died, but just then, an old hunchback passed by. I begged of him for a morsel of food, and he was kind enough to give me a whole bread. As he gave it to me, he said, This is what I eat every day. Today, I shall give it to you, for your need is greater than mine. As the mother heard those words, her face turned pale. She leaned against the door for support. She remembered the poisoned bread that she had made that morning. Had she not burnt it in the fire, it would have been eaten by her own son, and he would have lost his life. It was then that she realized the significance of the words, the evil you do remains with you, the good you do comes back to you. Our actions and words are born from our thoughts. Every thought is like a seed with potential to give rise to more such thoughts again. This is why it is important to be vigilant of our thoughts. When we think thoughts of harming others, it's like tossing a dagger at the sky. Sooner or later, it falls back on us. 
When we think thoughts of supporting others, it's like tossing fragrant flowers at the sky. Sooner or later, they return to adorn us.